Hi, uh, the people don't know who I am. I'm uh, Rabbi Dremelix and Debbie Dremelix's brother and brother-in-law. Uh, and uh, he gave me a kidney this summer. And if one other person asked me, is he funny now? <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, but Maish, I did drink a lot of water today. And around 4.30 this morning, you're really going to have to pee. <laughs> quite old now, so basically we're going to stand in the bathroom at 4.30 in the morning and do this. I know I have to go. It's there. Oh, here it oh, here it comes. No, no, that's where I'm supposed to go. The song's getting tired. <laughs> All right, uh, no, never mind. Oh, no, there we go. Okay. I didn't even take it out. That's warm. Two months after I had my uh, my uh, transplant, uh, I had a stroke, and uh, I am officially a platinum member of Atsoa. <laughs> I get to sit up front now. <laughs> Maybe. Morning, about two in the morning, Jeff Merkel knocks on my door and goes, You okay? <laughs> I, I, I got the bus outside. <laughs> it's been it's been a real change from moving from LA to come to Riverdale. Uh, I was in Los Angeles for close to 25 years, and I always said I really miss the seasons and the winter of New York. <laughs> In LA, I did a lot of drugs. <laughs> but was, no, I don't miss it. <laughs> People in Riverdale argue differently than they do in Los Angeles. They use volume. <laughs> you know, you can't eat cold fish in a kosher restaurant. <laughs> yes, you could. <laughs> Then they always say, you know what? We'll agree to disagree. No. <laughs> we'll agree you're an idiot. And I'm right. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> OK, you're right. You have volume again. <laughs> I really was afraid to do this, because it is true. I haven't performed since last December, and uh, I spoke to, the rabbi spoke to me 
during the week. And I mean, he's to me, he's if not the best, one of the best. And he really he comes from here. Rabbi Rosenblatt. <laughs> I should have talked louder. I love listening to him speak and show. I, I, I don't sleep as good as when I'm in show and he talks. And they're like a lie. And I thought, and I told him, I said, you know, I, I, no disrespect, I said to him, but I think it's just because I'm tired, you know, you're coming in from the cold, you're in the heat, you've been davening a lot. And then I went to lunch with him. <laughs> my head fell in the soup. He's like the Ambien Rebbe. <laughs> you have to have a prescription to listen to him speak. Insurance covers it now. You going to see Rosenblatt? Here's a prescription. Only 30 days. My brother said, I, I should come here because, well, it's good medical care on the East Coast, and uh, the kidney was here. <laughs> I did the math. <laughs> and Riverdale, the medical care. <laughs> Five kosher bakeries, not one hospital. <laughs> Have Sola picks you up. We go, where should we take him? I don't know, let's get Danish. <laughs> He started the talk, and it was about you know the Pasha Teruma, which basically is a instruction guide from IKEA. <laughs> I can see two guys working. I'm missing a piece of the menorah. <laughs> There's only six. <laughs> Do you have the Hanukkah model or the show model? <laughs> and the rabbi... <laughs> Rosenborn, eh? Is that short? Oh, I've got to write him a letter. I'm not calling him. Not while I drive. I'll hit something big. Anyway, uh, I really uh, got to go. This is actually, I really got to thank you guys because. I really was very scared to do this. I, uh,
general face top hat. And uh, I think I, no, 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 I see no, I didn't need to do that. I didn't want to get, I didn't want to get the uh, four people. I just wanted to, I know uh, you have, uh, a friend of mine is coming up and everyone's asking the host of you, is it good? You'll see. You know, what's wrong? He's very funny. He is. He's a good friend. He's the only guy I know that can make people laugh at the Chabad telephone. <laughs> I don't know how you did that. I'm watching, I'm going, he's doing it. I don't know how he does that. <laughs> uh, just a little note. And I don't know if this is disrespectful or not, but it probably is. <laughs> you gotta stop saying Baruch Hashem. <laughs> it's every other word. Hashem's up there, he needs rest. <laughs> You must take a little Yes, I got it, I got it. Yes, I know, thank you. Yes, thank you, thank you. You have a nice movement today, thank you. You don't have to thank me. <laughs> you have an orgasm? Oh, <laughs> I mean, you guys just, you know, he knows. You wake up the whole day, Baruch Hashem. Uh, <laughs> uh, no, this, this actually feels so good. Anyway, uh, <laughs> the only thing that I'll, I'll end with this, I promise you, is uh, in the hospital at New York, I was at New York Presbyterian. Because that's where Jews go for medical care. <laughs> They do make great jello. <laughs> Jews can't make jello like Presbyterians. <laughs> it's like a steak. <laughs> you think you're eating jello, that's not jello. That's jello. <laughs> when you have an operation, and the doctors here or people have operations, you know the worst thing about only being in the hospital, it's horrible, but Parking's more than the surgery, it's, uh, <laughs> I went on DNR, you know, I was tested tape, because I didn't want them to keep coming and paying this $15 to park. <laughs> they could go through my fortune just coming to visit me as a vegetable. <laughs> just pull the plug, save the money, here's a coupon. <laughs> the worst thing about when you're under anesthesia for so long, the muscles stop working. And the last thing to come back is your, in, your intestines, basically. Now, they told me that after the stroke, I couldn't get out of bed. I was actually Berkshire. <laughs> <laughs> it was, I was paralyzed September 16th. I don't know how I did it with the help of Dr. Liss and uh, a great lady to be nameless, but she'll, she'll hate me if I say something, but a great lady. And, but I was laying there and they showed me a bed camp, which they had to put, I really couldn't move. And it's very, very hard to go when there's no pressure. <laughs> They said, just lay on it and let gravity take its course. <laughs> so they show you this bedpan. This is like a, it's like a piece of tubbleware. <laughs> they actually have a cub where you can burp it. <laughs> it's like I'm going to go and store it for later. <laughs> I shouldn't mess up the hats. I have it in a tubbleware. <laughs> and you would sit on this thing and for days nothing happened. Finally, they say they're gonna. Well, first of all, the bigger calling girls, the ladies, they're great. 
because they bring the food. I mean, if you have a chance and after you give money here to bring it home, I mean, they really show up with the food, chicken, uh, compote, prunes, everything. I mean, it's great. So one day, they had me on this day. And I wanted it for about an hour. I can't even feel it because I'm paralyzed. It's like the fourth day of it. And I'm covered up and everything. And the door opens. And it's the bigger cold ladies. <laughs> With the shakles and uh, they actually have a banner that says Baruch Hashem. <laughs> and a little kid to come blow shelf. <laughs> and I'm sitting on this thing. <laughs> and they're bringing me the food and then they're staying and they're blowing shofar. And... <laughs> I can't tell them. <laughs> I'm on rubber bead. I, uh, <laughs> and they said, do you want to eat? I go, no, no, I don't want to eat. You know what? Leave the prunes. <laughs> uh, again, I just uh, really want to thank you and I want to thank Jay. And <laughs> Okay, people, this is what, the moment you've all been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Our next guest, he's been the host on his own, he hosted his own uh, comedy show. He's been on Jay Leno many times, the night show with Jay Leno. He's been on um, NBC Stacked. He's been on Fox's sitcom Stacked, I apologize. English is a second language to me, people. I'm sorry. <laughs> He's been on NBC's The In-Laws. You may have seen him last week. He was on the show The Mentalist, where he was excellent. He'll be performing. Come on. He'll be performing next week on Chelsea Lately. <laughs> Ladies, we got a celebrity in the house. <laughs> and one thing I just want to say before I call him up. And this is true, totally true. This guy is also, besides being the funniest man I've ever met in my life, he's also a real mensch. And I'll tell you why. Because months ago when we called him up and we booked him, you know, and a guy like this, he doesn't know what his schedule is gonna look like. He says, I'd love to do it, I'll, I'll try my best. But he said one thing. He said that if for any reason he can't make it on this date, something should go wrong, who knows, and he can't make it. He would be sure to send his co-star, Pamela Anderson. <laughs> well, I have some bad news for you, people. Unfortunately, he's here. <laughs> but ladies and gentlemen, please make a little noise. Let's go, let's get up. We got a celebrity here. 